Hello, fellow plant enthusiasts. So last week, I showed you how the Saracenia seeds, which I called stratified, were actually starting to sprout. And looking at this, there are so many more sprouts. So I'm actually going to take off the cover this time. And behold, I have a lot of sprouts. So the height from the peat moss to the rim of this vintage McCoy pottery piece is not high enough for the sprouts to grow. You know, they'll hit the bag, the condensation at the top, and they'll start to suffer. So I don't want them to suffer. So I have this thing I got from the Dollar Tree, which is made by American Seed, which is, I guess, a product that they typically stock. And in hindsight, I should have just planted them directly into this, then I could have had the dome. But it's not hindsight, and this is just a little short, so the dome will have to just sit on top like that, which is not bad, because now I have air circulation going in and out from underneath. I just have to make sure that this won't dry out. But you can see that these seeds are starting to grow, and I'm going to have to do research because this is my first time cold stratifying. And I'm just going to do a little research to see if I need to put these in the sun to harden at what part of their growth, if need be, and when can, are they going to be big enough to separate and put in their own pots, etc. So that's stuff I'll be researching and hopefully soon be making more videos of. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date as I add more videos on these. But these are so many to count. So let me show you guys a closer view of the seeds and sprouts. So looking at them, both the seeds from one variety of Saracenia hybrid and the other one, they both sprouted probably in about equal amounts. I have fewer seeds here. So really the germination rate on these is going to be a little higher than those if you do the math. But anyway, these were a variety of hybrid that has nice green pitchers that get up to 32 to 33 inches tall. These, they're not as tall, but they have really red flowers. These are interesting because only the petals are red. Maybe a little fringes on the rest of the flower, but for the most part, the flowers are green with red petals, which is kind of unusual. And some years they may have a peach color to them, so it's, you know, for even the Saracenia flower, it's kind of unusual. And then these seeds here are probably from 2018. I only had about four that I had, and they uh, did not sprout. So that's four years, so apparently they don't have a very long shelf life. If you need to germinate your seeds, don't hold on to them for too long. And that's one reason why I hate buying seeds off the internet. Sometimes you never know how old they are. People sell on eBay, on Etsy, and I can't stand when I'm looking for live plants and I get seeds. Because I haven't really had much luck with seeds I've bought off eBay. Sometimes they claim fresh, but you don't know if they're telling the truth or not. They get the review, before, you know, the feedback, but they're not given in enough time for people to actually say, hey, the seeds are not sprouting. So anyway, if we count them, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 from here that I counted. Oh, 36, 37. And on this side, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think 14, we'll say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Wow, over 40 on this side. So it's amazing how when you grow from seeds, it is so much 
easier to get more plants than when you plant the sarracenias and rely on rhizome division and you need a much smaller space. The drawback is having to wait about three or four years for these to be large enough to sell. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy planting.